Good morning. Can you tell in my eyes that I am just physically and emotionally tired? This morning at 5 a.m. I literally had like a little, I wouldn't say mental breakdown, but like just emotionally. <laughs> I was having like a few emotional breakdowns. Am I 39 weeks today? I believe I'm 39 weeks today. I'm 39 weeks today. I love using this app. If you don't know what app to use if you're pregnant, I love the what to expect app. So it just shows you like how far along you are and all that. This video is not sponsored. It's not sponsored. Woo! The baby is moving. Anyways, I was so scared this morning. In the night, I can't sleep. So... I sleep about 2 a.m. and last night I was so tired already by 2 from watching YouTube videos and from my day, right? So I was falling asleep but I was like feeling a lot of pressure. And then I guess I just slept with that in my mind. So I fell asleep and I went like into like a deep sleep because I did not hear when my husband left. I did not hear his alarm. I up around 5. And I was just terrified, like, I woke up, like, with a scare or, like, with anxiety. And I was just like, what is going on? Like, why do I feel so much pressure? Usually I would just go use the restroom, like, number one, go pee, TMI, and go back to my bed and just sleep more, right? But, uh-uh, like, I couldn't go to sleep. I woke up, um feeling tons of pressure feeling anxiety to the max because my husband works like an hour away and with traffic he could sometimes be in traffic like for three hours at this point like i don't know if i'm dilated i don't know what's going on because obviously with all this covid going on my appointments are like all messed up i do have an appointment on the 17th but it's the 15th today 15th of september this morning like i told you guys i was feeling a lot of pressure and then like around 6, I got like a mini contraction. I know it's like more of a real contraction because a Braxton Hick is like you just feel like your uterus is tightening. But at first I thought, okay, they're going to start. Like I had one at 6.45 I think or 6.46. And then the next one was like at, hold on, at 6.52. So I was starting to panic because my husband's like an hour away. I was just starting to panic and just breaking down emotionally. I'm about to be a mom of four, right? I have three. I can't just get up and say, hey, I'm going to go do this. I'm going to go do that. Hells no. I can't. I don't have any sisters here in the same town as me. I wish I had my one of my youngest sisters. She's 20. Yeah, she's 20. My eyes look so tired, huh? I wish she was here. Like, so, like, if anything, like, I could, like, if I want to go get checked at labor and delivery, like, I could just go. But I don't. And then that was putting in me emotional. And then I'm the type of person that I don't like to bug. Like, I don't like to bug other people. Like, because I know my kids, um, godmother, she... She has kids too, right? She has a, a, a one-year-old and she has a six-year-old, seven-year-old? Is it seven? No, a six-year-old. Six. So, um, and she has him in school, you know, virtual school. So, like, I don't want to bug. And then there's my um, husband's sister-in-law, which I texted her and I was like, Hey, are you available today? Because if anything, like, I need you to come to my house, like, just in case like are you available today all right now i wouldn't say that i'm getting like close together contractions but maybe like one every 30 minutes but very very mild very mild not like strong or not like close to each other my thing is that i don't want to have my husband drive home and me just having contractions and then they go away because that happened with Jaylene and I felt so bad because he missed like a day of work and then the next day she was born <sighs> 
so that's the thing like I'm the type of person that I don't like to bug other people regardless my kid's godmother was gonna come today uh, to bring Jay a present so I mean it's gonna be good to have her here just in case like I progress or anything like that so yeah I, I don't know I'm sorry if I'm just ranting but that was my morning I was getting an anxiety attack no not really like an anxiety attack but I was getting anxiety and I took a shower like I took a shower at I think it was like 6 6 a.m. I got in the shower and I was like screw this because if I was to go into labor like I need to take a shower <laughs> like I don't just want to go to the hospital and you know because I didn't shower last night I think my kids godmother's here so okay puppy open it all right so we're here at our 39 week appointment thank you thank you thank you I'm trying to cross and not get ran over 39 weeks, two days today. I was showing the nurse that that one right there is my little Jaylene. <laughs> the one with the pumpkin in the head. I can't believe her picture is still there after two years. These are the babies. Alrighty, so we're in. We're just waiting to be seen. <laughs> Hello. Yes. Hi. Hello. My name is Jerry. I'm the nurse practitioner. Okay, I'm back to my vehicle and I am so, I am so shocked. <laughs> I'm so shocked. Um, I don't know how much it recorded because my husband was calling my phone and I had left the recording so I could record the, uh, my OBGYN so voice and everything she was telling me. So basically, <laughs> basically I'm... Um, two centimeters dilated she didn't tell me nothing about a face or nothing she did suggested the stripping of them hopefully i'm saying this right membranes stripping i've never had that done with all my four pregnancies this was my first time because i didn't know about it before holy smokes how come nobody told me like <laughs> I'm sorry for the bad words um I'm sorry but how come nobody told me what that felt like I didn't know what that felt like like I know when you, they check you you know to see if you're dilated but a membrance chair a membrance strip or or yeah something like that it's like it's like they're swabbing in there and I'm like I'm shocked she said that it's it's a 50 50 chance that it will work it would definitely work if your body is ready to go into labor if your body is prepared she definitely felt the baby's head i was like mm. <laughs> to me she's the best OBGYN. i've had her with all my four kids all my four kids they asked me what was my plan for birth control I am thinking of the copper um, IUD or something like that. So I'm thinking about that one. I'm thinking about that one because pills, I'm not good with pills. I want nothing in my arm. You know, that one that they put on the arm. So if I'm still pregnant by September 24th, I am having to see her again. But... I don't know i really hope i could go into labor this weekend uh one because i have kids with virtual learning so i don't want them to back up too much with all that and then their teachers are a little on them like hey do your work your son is not doing your work or you know they they notice all that stuff or i don't want them to be missing too much that's the 39 week update uh, my belly's measuring fine um, she said that there is no sign of mucus plug. I did not notice when it came out. She said it may have come out in pieces. So there's no mucus plug. <laughs> I 
there's no mucus plugs and i was like wondering i'm like i wonder if there's still like a mucus plug because i haven't seen it come out i'm so nervous but i'm excited i'm done being pregnant i felt like i've been pregnant all year so i am ready to have this baby when this baby decides to come and then i just asked her questions about the covid test that they are going to be doing it um they're going to be doing it when i go into i think if i'm in active labor they'll do it it's exciting <laughs> it's my fourth baby like i shouldn't um i should already know what goes on but i'm still nervous because you just never know how things are gonna go down <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and head home i'm gonna ask my husband what he wants for dinner if he wants me to cook or not <sighs> i'm so nervous tomorrow's friday and then hopefully the weekend.